Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Frankie, the host of this channel, Frankie's Forest. If you're new here on this channel, we talk all about plants and also other aspects of nature. However, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the different uses of weeds in your garden. They may not be as bad as you think. Let's get started. When in the soil, weeds can be such an annoyance, not only to pull out, but also to the appearance of your garden. However, after today's video, you may just start to view weeds as your new best friend. The first way I like to use weeds in my garden is composting. No garden has too little weeds. There's always weeds growing if you have healthy soil. And if you know about composting, the more organic matter, the better. As plants compost down, they let off their own heat. This heat allows plants to break down and decompose. The more heat being produced, the quicker the decomposition process will be. So instead of throwing your weeds away, Put them in a compost pile. You don't need any fancy tool. You don't even need a compost bucket. You can just put them on the ground and they'll decompose just like that. As you let it decompose, it can turn from being green like this to something highly decomposed like this. This is full of nutrients. And then this could be used to mix into your soil when first planting things early spring. You could even just put it on top of your soil for a little bit of extra nutrients. Or when you're planting something in a pot, instead of filling it all the way with soil, which takes a lot of soil, you could fill it a quarter or even close to halfway up and that will decompose and provide tons of nutrients for your newly planted vegetable or plant. For this method, you're gonna wanna keep them in a wheelbarrow like this. You're gonna wanna keep them relatively fresh because you want them to have that living nutrients inside of them. And the same thing, the more filled up you can get your wheelbarrow, the better. For this process, you're gonna need some pruning shears or just a pair of scissors. Then take a small pot or a big pot, depending on size of the space that you're gonna put this in. Because my pruning shears are curved, I can go in like this and just scoop it into the pot like so. The reason I'm putting it in a pot is because now we're gonna cut it up. Once it's been cut up a good amount, bring it over to one of your veggies, preferably, preferably one that's in the ground. and just sprinkle the stuff right over the top. You don't have to bury it or do anything to it. And because you've been collecting so many weeds into the wheelbarrow or elsewhere, you can really go heavy with the amount of weeds that you put on top of the soil. What this will do is continue to further break down, giving the plant more nutrients as it breaks down. However, it will also attract worms to the surface to eat this dying organic matter, then the worm will produce castings. Worm castings have tons of nutrients in them. They're packed with vitamins and minerals that are essential for plant growth. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, I would love for you to share it with someone who you think would also benefit from it. Other than that, I hope you have a great day and happy growing.